it's not an exaggeration to say that Jim Cahill pulled me into the field. I took Asia, I was an art history and history double major at Berkeley in the late 70s. And uh, all I knew was European art and history. Wanted to study German Expressionism or maybe German Renaissance painting. And uh, there was this pesky breadth requirement. <sighs> breadth requirement. Non-Western art. Well, the only non-Western art taught at Berkeley in the 70s was Asian art. And uh, took the lower division, got a B minus. Never again will I take Asian art. Escaped with the skin of my teeth. Went into the uh, undergraduate advisor next semester. You better take an upper division Asian art class. Took one with a visiting professor. It was pretty good, David Sensabaugh now at the Yale Art Museum. And I did well and I liked it. And uh, some older students, graduate students, said to me, if you liked this class, wait till the real deal. This guy, Professor Cahill, who's on sabbatical at Harvard this year, he'll come back, take one of his classes. Actually, he taught Japanese art the following quarter. And I took it and then that was, that was it. And it was not just that I, I loved the material, but the way that uh, Jim Cahill presented it. It was a series of problems and issues and questions. It wasn't just a recitation of fact.